Documentary filmmaking, like they do on uh, Net Netflix and other platforms, is much different than you know feature filmmaking or narrative filmmaking. You know, oftentimes in documentaries, they'll have they'll shoot like six months of footage, right? And they'll make the story after and what they shoot. So they'll, they'll write the script based on what they see. So I know like, um, are you guys familiar with the HBO show Hard Knocks? On, 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 they, they cover NFL football teams. So basically, you know, HBO, you know, NFL went Hollywood. They're basically giving HBO full access to watch, go inside each team's facility. Each team, one team was chosen a year. And teams oftentimes hate it because you have these cameras around when trying to, you know, build for a championship team. And you're trying to, you know, not, you're trying to keep, keep things internal and, you know, keep things in house and try to, you know, either build a new culture or whether it's trying to sustain the culture, just deal with anything else within the organization. And you have cameras that are trying to document everything that, that occurs. So there's a few rules to like, you know, what they can and can't shoot, but most times they're right up in your face to when a guy loses his job to they're in the room to when bad news happens to a rookie, to, you know, injuries, but they shoot it all first and they just write it after and they, doc and they narrate it afterwards. So a lot of times for documentary filmmaking, you know, it doesn't have the same structure that we will discuss today in like film production, how we have, we're shooting on these days, we're getting this shot and we're leaving. It's more so we're gonna be here from month, you know, from March until October in this desert, we're gonna be capturing birds, lions and giraffes. And we're gonna just have the camera here and we're gonna just do what we have to do and then after that has all occurred, that's when they'll go in for two or three months in the editing process. Just as it's an, it's important in, in narrative filmmaking, it's even more important in documentary filmmaking because that's when the really, you know, the story is in the kitchen, getting made and being prepared, you know, and being served rather than just kind of ends the narrative where it's more so it's being fun, finishing touches and being um, served to the, um, to the um, customer. This is more so everything in the last part. So it's really, um, it's a lot of pre-production that has to be involved in it, of course, but not as extensively as it is when you have structured shoot days. So it's interesting to see just different mediums and saying, okay, like, well, end of the day, the still a filmmaker trying to tell you a story, trying to tell you something about whatever it is. And it's how um, well they are able to convey that message that will help, you know, the documentary be considered good or just, you know, something that, you know, just as a camera is on a bunch of animals. So it's, um, it's definitely an art to it more than a science.